Hey there, this is Catherine from Catherine Cartwright Crafts. Welcome to the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel. Be sure and subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber. There's a lot of great content over here. Today I am sharing the all to new Build a Flower Honeysuckle Stamp and Die Set as well as this little tiny sentiments hello die and there's a coordinating stamp set that goes with it so i'm going to show you how this stamp set works um, included in the package is a beautiful full color layout of how to use these layering stamps um, it's a little hard to see on camera you can see it better on the paper but there's a letter and then a number so a one a two a three b1 b2 b3 c1 all the abc's all the way down to e to show you how to stamp these images um, using your different inks there also are included four ideas of how to stamp these and some color inks if you don't have these color inks you could easily kind of match up with something you have in your craft stash um, or you can make it into whatever you want and then they also have included on this, they've got four um, panels. You could make some cards with those card fronts using either side of those. So you get a couple of card fronts out of it too. I'm gonna be using some Pink Fresh ink today. This is the Indian Summer ink cubes and you'll see I'm gonna start from the lightest to the darkest and let's get started. So you're gonna begin the first step on all of these the stamp, the flower, the leaves, and then there's like a little bouquet of them with a little center flower in it um, that I'm gonna use too. But you're gonna start by stamping your image with black ink or whatever color you wanna use. But you're gonna use a, this is just a solid outline. So I'm using some Gina K Amalgam ink there to stamp. And then I'm gonna move on to my second stamp which will be my first color and again you can see a little bit on the right hand side the red lines they have great pictures that show you pretty much exactly where you need to place it and it becomes very easy once you start playing with this um, it, once you do it once you really have a good feel for how this flows and it becomes quite easy to create these beautiful flowers and honestly the only limitation is the color. You can choose any color you want, so there's no limit. It's really limitless, honestly. You can just choose any color combination you want. You can also just stamp one time or two times. Um, the flower, the main flower image, has four colors in it, four stamps in it that you can stamp, but you can also do it without the outline. So there's just so much variety. I had such a good time playing with this, um, and it's just such a fun product. So I'm moving on to this next one, again, taking care to line it up. And then I'll clean that stamp off and I'm going to move on to the next color. But you can see how quickly you build this beautiful dimension by using these inks, the stamps, and the different colors. And it just comes together so easily. So I'm going to stamp this darker shade in here. And then there is a little small piece that goes on the... Um, on the flowers, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna, I'm gonna stamp that out because it's pretty tiny. It's a little hard to see in person. My eyes are not as great as they used to be. So this is a little tr trick for me. I'm gonna line it up and then I'm gonna take a little cube of paper and just hold it on top. And then I can kind of see I'm in the right spot and then I've got it lined up because they are a little bit small. But again, once you start playing with this, um, it's very, very easy to create these beautiful images. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I've got my main flower stamped. I'm gonna move on to the leaves of this. There are two main leaves, and then there's this, I'm calling it a little bouquet. It has two leaves and then a center flower. That also includes stamps to stamp that out as well. So I'm just gonna line up and put all of my, um, my leaves on there and I'll show you how that's gonna to go together. So again, I'm starting with the outline image. I'm gonna stamp that in my Gina K black ink, and then um, that will be ready to go. And I will start with my lightest green, and I'm gonna use three greens. These are Catherine Puller greens. I have listed them in the description. 
they come from two or three different um, ink sets. I've got the mini ones. And so I just kind of looked around in there and I pulled out three that I thought would work well together. So I've got that first layer down and now I'm going to move on to my second layer. So you'll see it's got the next letter in there, which will be B3 in this case. So I'm looking for B3, C3, and then D3. The E collection goes into that top flower, that little uh, kind of bud, I guess you would say, um, on that bouquet. Okay, so I'm just taking a second here to line it up. And um, I'll be honest, it's really pretty easy, but if you go out of the lines, it, it still to me looks really good. It's got kind of this organic feel to it. So I think even if you make a mistake on it, it still looks really, really good. But it is so easy to use. So I've got that second color. I'm gonna clean off my stamps. Be sure and put them back on your sheet. There are a ton, you can see it's a big stamp set. There are a ton of stamps and you don't wanna, you don't wanna um, lose them. It's gonna take me a second here. I'm looking at my picture to get um, the orientation. And I realized too, I had that one upside down, so that's why it looks a little bit different on the paper. I didn't stamp it quite right, so that's my mistake. But again, thankfully, you've got that picture for reference. And I'm gonna put that center in there, showing me how to lay that on there. And you can, once you get up close to it, you can see it pretty well. Okay, so I'm fixing this one, and now I will pick this up. Um, I would recommend using your stamp positioner if you have it. It just makes it a little bit easier. If you make a mistake, you can see it kind of before it happens. And also, um, if you don't get a great impression the first time, you can go back. But these Catherine Puller inks just stamp beautifully. You get a nice, uh, clear impression every time. So I'm super excited to have those in my collection now. All right, now I'm going to come back and I'm going to finish up that little bouquet with the little bud. And there are the small little stamps here. This is the E. Uh, so it goes from A to E if you want to use all of the elements in the set. And again, just the possibilities are limitless just based on how many stamps you want to put. If you want to do it, you could stop right there with that bud. Just that first color. I'm going to stamp each one of them so you can see what the finished one looks like. And then I'll create a card with this. And I will say too, in this stamp set at Scrapbook Pal, it's a bundle, so you get the stamps, and then they're also coordinating dies that cut out the leaves, that large flower, and then this little bouquet as well. So you'll get those dies as well included. And then I'm gonna come back here and stamp my last little image. And I've, um, I'm just, I'm just using three colors on this one, so I'm not gonna use that darkest one, that persimmon but I am going to do the third color. Look at that. So you've got this instant dimension, instant shading, all by stamping. So I just love it. So there you go. I'm going to cut these out off camera, but I'm going to work on this hello die. Got this little hello die. There are some small, tiny sentiments or what they are called that go with this hello die, but I looked through the stamp set and I noticed that there's another kind of similar sentiment there that's tiny. It says hello there. But I am going to mask this off and just take the bottom sentiment. So you can see it's in that similar font, small little font. I'm going to um, hold this down and then I'll use a little bit of tape to mask my sentiment off because I only want half of the um, image that they've got on there. So I've just got a little tape. You could use a post-it note. You could use a piece of paper and just hold it there to block off that ink. And now I can come back and stamp that out. And it's now it says, hello, you sweet thing. So super, super cute. I love this strip, this uh, hello strip. It's very fun. And I think I'm going to enjoy having that in my craft room. Okay, I have die cut the things off camera. They cut beautifully. I've got the leaves and then I made that little bouquet too that I'm gonna have come out of here. And I'm just kind of positioning where I want things to go. I'm gonna use my fine tip glue to glue down this hello. I cut it out of a light blue cardstock. Um, I just thought that worked well with the shades in this. I wanted a little contrast, but something um, 
a little softer as well. So I went with this light blue. I'm just using my um, pokey tool to get my hello in position. And then I'm going to trim off my edges. And I will adhere all of this to the card. And then I'll work on popping up my flower, my honeysuckle. Um, I love the smell of honeysuckle where I grew up. Uh, you always saw honeysuckle and it smelled delicious. So when I was making this card, I was really brought back to that time in my life when I was a child and I would run around and, and playing in the yard and just smell the honeysuckle when the wind would blow. So that was just a fun uh, memory that came back to me while I was working with this set. Okay, so I have used some foam to pop up that bouquet and then I'm just going to directly glue the petals onto the paper. So I'm just putting a little bit more of that adhesive on there. And what a beautiful card. You could mass produce this easily. Just make a bunch of these flowers and the colors of your choosing. Die cut them and then you can make a bunch of different cards. I'm gluing this onto a piece of black cardstock. And then I'm finishing it off onto an A2 sized green card base. I've got a few um, sequins that I have in my stash that I've had for years, and I'm going to come back and add these three on each kind of side there to finish this off. And um, this was a great set, so much fun, perfect for any flower lover, just such a beautiful elegance to it, and um, it really couldn't be easier. So thanks for joining me here at Scrapbook Pal. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't a subscriber. And I'll see you soon. Have a great day.